I'm Catherine Ross, and I'm here live from the NYSC with Jim Kramer. Jim, we got a short show today. You got to, we've got BMF at 11:15. So in a minute and a half, I'm gonna walk you over right there, and we're gonna break down the ticker tape. Are you ready? Sure, I'm all right. Ready. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, all, all the, right. All the bank stocks are down today. Uh, J.P. Morgan. Didn't even let me say. Oh, I'm sorry. You got a minute starting now. Okay. Uh, Coca-Cola. This is a reaction to the fact that there's a lot of people who feel things have slowed down the economy. Same thing with McDonald's, 3M. That makes sense. It should be down because if there is a slowdown, they're definitely front of line. Front line. Merck. I told you at 80 last week to buy. Nike is obviously sensitive to uh, uh, to China. Uh, Pfizer's just been such a dog. I don't know what to say. Procter and Gamble. I've got David Taylor on Thursday. That stock's making a big comeback. Travelers is neither here nor there. United Health is an oddity because I do believe that the managed care stocks should be rallying. Maybe that's off of my interview with the speaker Pelosi, who maybe is not a fan. Visa, that's we're back with fintech. Fintech came right back. Verizon is obviously yield oriented. Walmart is uh, a a retailer that is not considered as sensitive, say, as a Kohl's, which is down bad. There's a nice positive note about American Express. We still continue to read about Boeing and the possibility that there's uh, the international uh, regulators are not uh, maybe against them. And Caterpillar, even though the industrial production number is really good, I think there's, again, the slowdown thesis. Chevron, boom. I mean, what can I say? Also, CAD, the collapse in oil prices. Remember, the curve says it's going to be out 51, 52 and in 2022. Time. I'm done. You're done. Okay. That was a minute. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So in case you didn't already know, Jim is talking to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tonight on Mad Money. And, of course, we've got our Bull Market Fantasy live show live at 11.15 a.m. And let me just say that I think the Home Depot's an overreaction on the downgrade. All right, guys. I'm Catherine Ross, and we'll see you tomorrow.